Hello, friends, family, supporters, haters, everybody in between. This is Spot of the Nerd, but without the, just just the three, Spot of Nerd. And I want to actually talk about something quite amazing in terms of television and streaming services and everything else that you want to call it but you know this might be short it might be long i don't know but what it comes down to really is it's very very rare for me to kind of speak to a new show or a new movie that's out in the world that is completely from left field that I would put everything, reputation, blitty bitty, whatever. I don't even know what the right words are to call it. But the bottom line is you need to go and watch this new series that is currently streaming on Hulu. Um, I think it's FX as well, or FX is like the original, but it's a show called The Bear, and it has absolutely nothing to do with bears it is and it's it's filled with people that you have absolutely no idea who they are except maybe a an episode or two where they actually have a bazillion people that you actually know who they are and the main cast member though you will know if you watched the show shameless the american version um you know, try, look him. I mean, you know me. You know, Spot of Nerd. I am terrible with names, celebrities, all the likes. But the bottom line is, go look up the Bear Hulu. See the main character. You will know exactly who it is. It is um, God. I can't even think of the fucking character that he plays in Shameless. But he's one of the main cast. You'd know him if you saw him. Bibbidi bobbidi boop blah. Anyway. He is surrounded by, again, a bunch of people that you've never heard of. And I swear, four cups of tea out of four cups of tea from Spot of Nerd. Because this show truly is a masterpiece in terms of incredible writing, incredible storytelling, incredible production. The way they film it, the way they, they, they get you hope. They get you to believe, they get you to be passion, and then they'll just destroy everything you have. They will rip your heart out. They will destroy your every ounce of being. And you're kind of okay with it because that's just kind of how the story goes, how the, how the, how the show moves along. And the simplified version is you have the main guy, we'll just call him Shameless Dude, he was essentially the one of the greatest cooks. He's like a young cook. He's like the he's like the the Ramsey of cooks, but without all the cursing, without all the awesomeness, I guess. But he's awesome in his own way. You'll you kind of you'll know what I mean if you watch the show. So, unfortunately, there's a suicide in the family, which is the Punisher. He is actually the character that kills himself because of, again, some pretty bad history. And so he is, he basically inherits the restaurant that the Punisher owned. And he's trying to basically run it and not have it run into the ground. And, you know, he's faced with all these trials and tribulations of, you know, he's, he's working with the old crew that's been there from the start. He's obviously trying to bring in new people. He's trying to make something of him. And I think it's just, it's one of those shows that really kind of, I don't know if you've ever been to some very dark places or if you've ever had some pretty horrible shit in your life, you will probably relate somehow or some way to either a character in the show or to a story arc in this show. And I definitely attach myself to multiple uh, areas of the show from the suicide, the mental depression, the 
overworking, the having nothing, you know, to the love and the romance, and then having that go away. And um, it really, so they've, they've just released their second season. And again, it's, if, if, if it's not better, it's most definitely on par with its first season. The first season is definitely more of a building up who these people are, what they're trying to do and accomplish. And the second season is genuinely expanding on that. They're expanding on the fact that he's, you know, they're, they're completely remodeling the restaurant all the while trying to essentially build their own reputations. They're trying to build their skill sets and, you know, they're also, you know, you're, you're thrown with so much other life stuff where, you know, one of the cast members has their, they had a kid and then they're divorced and, you know, the, the wife eventually moves on and starts getting married to somebody else and bibbidi blah blue. Um, but what really defined, I think this show, there is an episode called, I think it was, um, I don't know, it was like fries or something potatoes, something like that. Um, and it's an hour long episode where, like I was mentioning, there is a episode where there are so many celebrities. There's like, um, oh my God, I fucking can't even think. Just go and watch it. I promise you. No, it's fishes. That's right. The episode is called fishes. Sorry. And they just, it tells the story of a Christmas you know, one year where the entire family gets together and it's just absolute chaos. But it is one of those, it's something I, again, I really, I guess I can't really put too many words into because it was so well done from the negative, the over drinking, the, the violence, the calm, the, the crying, the everything, you know, in between even if you were to never watch a single episode of the show before, if you simply just went to this one episode, you would be hooked within 10 minutes because you would literally watch for 10 minutes and you want, you would want to know what comes next. You want to know, you want to know who these people are. You want to know what their story is and you, you, you're rooting for them, you know? I mean, of course, maybe not necessarily everybody, you'll get my drift if you watch it, but you really want to know who these people are. And it's it's amazing because there's no superheroes, there's no sex, there's no, um, I don't know, there's, there's nothing really, I guess in relation to sex, drugs, violence, blah, 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 blah. It just tells the story of a dysfunctional family. And it's incredible. It really, really is. I can't say it enough. So um, yeah, I just wanted to come and mention that of course on my own channel because it's very rare for me to devote not only just a single episode to a show or a movie but to really emphasize like hey if you want something that is not political not some woke bull crap this is a show you need to go check out because you know it's 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 amazing how i've always said depending on you know going down that politics route the agendas the narratives when it's shoved down our throats, it's very, very obvious. And, you know, 99% of the content that is out there right now, whether it's a movie or a television show, you are just spewed like, you know, projectile vomit, this crap all over your, your television and movies, including your sci-fi, including your fiction, everything in between your comic books. But with this show, you have it, but you don't see it because you're just you're paying attention to the story you're paying attention to these characters and you're paying attention to what is happening in that time in that moment and it's the best thing ever it really is something special and i highly highly recommend you go and check it out now because trust me you will just blitz through it. I mean, you'll start one episode and you will blitz through the whole season and then you'll blitz through the second season. And I pray that they do actually put a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, God knows how many more, because you could take this 
into so many different levels. It would be incredible. And I really, really do hope that there's a lot of success around it. So that's why I'm hopefully getting to you to go watch it, put it on your Hulu watch list, check it out. You will not be disappointed. I promise. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. So that's it. Nice and sim simple, short, whatever other words I can't really think of right now. But huge thanks for listening. Huge, huge thanks for watching. Please, if you liked what you heard, throw the likes, the follows, the subscriptions, Rumble Preferred, YouTube, the podcasts you cannot forget. We are on Spotify and all other places. Super duper in the pooper. Appreciate you all, including those haters, because I know you're out there. I welcome you into my heart, into my soul, because I know it is rent free up in the old noggin. Until next time, folks, we will see you next. I've already said that. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later, y'all.